Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy. I'm going to be doing my review for the 1991 movie, Eyes of an Angel. So, this movie stars John Travolta as uh, down on his luck father, who's raising a daughter in Chicago, and uh, one day the girl comes across this Doberman and uh, nurses it back to health uh, and everything, and her father is getting into trouble with these uh, uh, underworld criminals that have connections to this dog and eventually um, um, Bobby and his daughter start this uh, cross-country journey to get to LA and everything abandoning the dog and everything so that they can try to get away from these mobsters and uh, so they're heading to LA with the mobsters and the dog both trying to to find them and get back to them or get to them and it all just it all comes down to the big and all showdown with these mobsters and find out the dog was aban originally abandoned by these mobsters and used for dog fights and stuff like that. So it all comes down to this big ending where they, they have this showdown. It, it, it's crazy. Um, but this is a, a pretty decent movie. It, it's always been one of the John Travolta movies that I've always kind of enjoyed, but also. Uh, it's also one I don't like to rewatch as often because it is kind of a depressing movie. It is, it is kind of sad, and, it, and seeing seeing this poor dog put through through stuff is kind of sad and everything because it, it it shows them doing the dog fighting and stuff. And none of the animals got hurt it in the movie or anything. They had the thing at the beginning of the movie stating that no animals were hurt and everything, but it's still sad watching the dog fights and. The way the dog was, the, the dog was treated as a character and stuff, makes it makes it sad to watch, and everything. So it's not one of my most favorites, and it's not John Travolta doesn't play one of the most likable characters in his career either, because um, he is kind of a jerk to the dog and the the girl and stuff because he's stressed out because these mob people are after him and everything. He's trying to get away from them and all that, but he, he's. He's kind of a jerk to this little girl throughout the movie and everything. There's times where he's humorous and stuff too though when he's being a jerk and everything when he's like freaking out. He's like really over the top and everything. But there's also times where it felt like John Travolta just wasn't giving uh, giving much effort into his line deliveries and stuff. Like there's a part where he's on the phone and stuff and the, I think the way he was playing the character as he was meant to be, where it's like the character just doesn't care anymore and stuff, but the way he delivers his lines, it's like he doesn't really care about the character he's playing and stuff. And this is at a time in his career where maybe he did just do it because he needed the money and stuff, but this is a. But this movie really isn't that bad. It, as far as in. As far as he's. Uh, lower budgeted movies that he did in the early 90s that were kind of direct to video and stuff like that because I, I think this one was a direct to video movie that or it was just independent and had a very small release most people haven't even heard of this movie um, but I, I think it's okay I don't think it's terrible I don't think it's super great either it's just one of those that I think is pretty good um, and everything I, I get enjoyment out of it even though it is kind of one that it's not as fun to rewatch because of how sad it is and everything, but it, it's okay for what it is. So all in all, I'd say I'd give Eyes of an Angel a seven out of ten. It's it's enjoyable. It's got a pretty good performance from Josh Fulton when, although at times it does kind of feel like he's phoning it in at times compared to other movies that he's in and everything, but. It doesn't mean I necessarily think it's one of his worst movies either. There, there are way better movies in his career, but there's way worse too. It's, it's just one of those. It's probably going to be middle of the road or whatever. It's not 
one of my most favorites, but not one of the worst either. So, anyway, let me know in the comments if you've seen Eyes of an Angel. It's also been released under the name The Tender. So, if you haven't, if you've seen it under that title too, uh, just let me know. Um, but, uh, anyway, if you've seen this movie, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.